Welcome to week 13 of my Rockford Indoor Sunday League. Today we have a matchup against the 7th place team. And of course, it wouldn't be a Rockford Sunday Indoor League game without a little bit of trauma. Let's dive in. So with only three games left that we had in our season, we knew that this one was an important one for us because this could potentially be one of our playoffs matchups depending on how the last two games of the season go. So as the first half was underway, uh, we were playing a little sloppy, definitely weren't like ourselves. We we're playing like a team who hadn't played or touched the ball in about two weeks, which was about right. And the thing is, we knew this team was going to be good. We've stuck around and watched a few of their games before after some of ours, and they had us playing out of the back, I would honestly say, for a large part of this first half. Then, after them having us under so much pressure in this first half, we finally get our brace with an assist from your boy. That is one of the more satisfying things I think I've happened across this entire season. I had a lot of balls that have gotten close to even going in or right in front of the goalie, but this is the first one ever, I believe, that we've actually been able to finish. But after the ref giving a free kick, this is where all the pressure started to really pay off for the other team as they netted their first goal of the game. My view is a little obstructed here. See my defender Rod slowly starting to push the guy, but this ended up resulting in a goal. After about five minutes, we got our own free kick goal from my boy Amin, and this ended up giving us a two to one lead. And after that, we ended up getting a penalty kick. Uh, I still don't know why. I don't know if it was a handball. I don't know if the goalie used his hands inside of the box. I don't think it was. I would just assume handball, but we end up scoring this, and then we go up three to one. Now, this next goal is very unfortunate because you can make subs on the fly here. This ends up happening. I'm calling it out on the right side. This person was just floating right there. We make a sub, and it just took too long to get the next guy on. Hey, step right! So after that goal, I definitely was a little visibly frustrated, especially after calling it out. But, you know, things happen. Got to remain composed. So it was 3-2. But after they got that goal, uh, they started to get a little newfound confidence, if you will. And now we move on to the second half. Game is 3-2, where we hope things are maybe a little bit better than what we ended up seeing in that first half. the start of the i mentioned some drama well this is where things got a little bit chippy i showed you the foul earlier but this one moving forward is kind of what set the tone <laughs> So as you can see, just from these few clips, uh, second half pressure might have actually been more than the first half. I don't believe we got a goal unless I lost the footage somewhere, which I did lose some footage, but I'll get to that in a bit. Now, this next part is where tempers really did flare. Of course, I'm the captain of this team, so I'll always try to have my defenders backs if they get put into awkward situation or they get cornered. And that's exactly what happened on this play. Hey! Okay, so let me give it the rundown of what was said and what happened. I just stood in between, was pushing him away from my defender because he kept on trying to get to him. And I was not aggressive with my pushes. You can see that. All of a sudden, he tries to grab my arm. It's like, 
you're not about to do that so i end up pushing him away after that he tries to get in my face he gets really close to my chin i call him short even though i'm short i'm only 5'10 but he's probably like 5'5 five, five. and then i actually blew him a kissy face uh just because i knew that would probably end up pissing him off and then he started to walk away after that then now what you're seeing here is another guy threatening him saying you better watch your back you're, you're done for blah 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 so i just went back in there to try to de-escalate that which resulted in me getting a blue card so of course one of our players did have to go off so i did lose some footage in the game because a goal that they had scored later on actually knocked the battery out of my camera which does corrupt like the last 10 minutes of footage at this point it was 4-3 we did end up getting another goal which made a 5-3 and then there was a situation where there was a 50-50 outside of the box. I went up in the air to head the ball. The guy turtled up and hit me, fell to the ground. And he actually gave him a penalty kick instead of a free kick for that instance. They ended up scoring that. I did get a hand on it, but that knocked the battery out. So that is how the game came to a close. It was a very, very close game. This is potentially a team that we might end up playing in the playoffs, kind of depending on how the results shape up. Only two more regular season games to go. But it was a good one nonetheless. Had some good conversations. The other goalie was phenomenal. Uh, hands, feet, you name it. He kind of had the complete package. Found out he was actually a community college goalkeeper as well. So make sure if you did enjoy this video, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment if you do. And I'll see you all in the next video.